We haven't been to Russia in a while, so let's hit the road and check one of these players out. This is Arsen Zakarian. He is a Russian 19-year-old sitting in Dynamo, uh, not Moscow right now, 6.4 to 19.5 million rated, making 30.5K per week as a regular starter. Uh, he's got some nice numbers, but I will tell you, his potential is negative 9. I don't know exactly the range a negative 9 is. You have, if you don't know, you have your fixed potential, which could be like 155, one whatever, 170. Uh, or you have kind of a range potential, which is negative nine. So I'm guessing somewhere between like 150 and 180 is where he's going to end up whenever you start your save. What that is, you don't know. Uh, but negative nine could be a fantastic number. And if he gets that, and if he grows to it, you've got an absolute messiest beast on your hand. But right now you can see he's kind of all over the front of the pitch. You know, across that attacking line, you do have midfield center as well as, I mean, not naturally, but competent on the right, awkward or unconvincing on the left, but he can play an AML, AMR, AMC is where he's supposed to be at, it looks like, but uh, corners of 14, fine. Crossing of 11, you kind of want that a little bit higher on your sides, but dribbling of 12, finishing of 13, you've got a lot of 13s and 12s. Uh, decisions of 15 is fantastic. 16 vision is fantastic for especially for a midfielder and an attacking mid so he's got some great numbers passing 14 uh that could only grow i'm hoping so we'll see how close to that the upper high you know the higher end of that negative nine he can reach but right now he's looking really good for a 19 year old career milestones he already has senior club debut scored for his senior club first international cap and russian young player of the year so he's got a list of everything so far for the Russian League. Uh, I mean, maybe not cups, but still, he's got a personal accolade. He's got team accolade and international accolade. Uh, he just needs to figure out what happens in the next 10 years. So we're going to skip ahead to the 2033 season as we always do. So let's get on and see what the next 10 years holds for him. So at the tail end of the 2033 season, you can see he has found his way to Italy in the Serie A Atalanta, rated at 28.5 or 28 million to 84 million, making 50k per week until 2035 as a star player. Uh, it does not look like he has reached his negative nine potential, but he still looks pretty nice. Corners of 13, uh, crossing of 11, not too bad. I mean, a lot of his technicals have not grown all that much. Technique of 15 is fantastic. Decisions of 16 and vision of 17 are also fantastic. Acceleration of pace is there, finally. But a lot of numbers still not in the green or close to the green. I mean, 12s and 13s a lot of. But his technicals are just where it's lacking, it seems to be. But UEFA Europa League, 8 appearances, 2 assists, 7.25 average rating. Uh, Serie A, 36 plus 1, 4 goals, 4 assists, 7.06. He is not doing too bad. He stayed at Dynamo Moscow for quite a while, made his way to Atalanta for 10.75 million. Uh, and has, I mean, I honestly, he has not done all that bad. 679 in his first season, not the greatest, only 16 appearances, so he must have moved halfway through. But 33, 38, 37, all in the sevens, doing pretty nicely. Uh, not as lights out as you would hope if he had that negative nine potential, you know, if he reached the upper echelons of that. But still, Seven and above is nothing to shake a stick at. It's nice to see. You definitely want to bring that out in your players. Uh, and look, I mean, he can play all over the midfield now, attacking and centrally. So very nice. He's definitely got some versatility in there. It's great to see. Milestone-wise, he's not done much, sadly. Uh, we've seen all this young player of the year. He's just seasonal best 11s, bought by Atalanta, and then seasonal best 11s, and that is it. Injuries. He's got some. I mean, moderates are not great. Four weeks, three weeks, eight days. Uh, so he's not great in the injury department, but it's not too much. Uh, I mean, he's gotten two in the 2033 season, one in 32, a couple in 31. Uh, so he may have periods, I and mean, especially now that he's kind of getting older, you'll probably see some more. But a couple a season, 
that may be a couple, you know, a couple matches out or may not be a match out and just may be training out. You know, I wouldn't say it's too bad at all. And I have looked at his loyalty score. It is an eight. So it's not the greatest loyalty. Uh, it, you know, it looks like he will jump ship. I mean, eight's not bad, I don't think. I haven't really looked at a lot of loyalty scores, but it's not all the way at the top of, for 20 or thereabouts. So it, it looks like not a lot of people, not a lot of clubs were coming in for him at Dynamo Moscow. Um, Atalanta seems to. So let's see what happens What in the next couple of years uh, before he retires. But before we do that, let's take a look at his tactics and development. You can see he's primarily played on that left side right now. 48 for club, five goals, eight assists, 714 average rating. Not too bad whatsoever. Uh, but four caps is it for the Russian Federation. Nothing really in that nation's league. So, But, you know, let's just skip ahead and see when he retires and how he's gone from there. Well, 2038 is the date he's retiring. You can see plans to retire on 629-38. He is at Empoli. Uh, he's moved, I mean, he's just moved a little ways from Atalanta to Empoli. 35 years old, no additional caps, unfortunately. 100K to 300K, 60, 66K per week until 2039. So he's actually cutting it a year short, but he's only a fringe player. I guess he just doesn't want to sit on the bench anymore. But, you know, planning to retire. Uh, he did make 35 plus two appearances this season. One goal, four assists, six, seven, six, not great. You can see he did move on a free a couple seasons ago. Six, I mean, high sixes, not too bad. That must be an injury plague season, maybe. Uh, or maybe he just found himself on the bench this season around. He did play a heck of a lot more, but still, 6-7-6, six, six, bringing it down. Probably was not going to play all that much after that. Uh, yeah, definitely time to retire. Milestones, seasonal best 11s, inducted into best 11s. Russian player of the year, runner-up in 2034. Uh, they a lot of these players have that you know the tail end of their careers is where they actually get some of their biggest accolades. But signed by Empoli on a free Russian Player of the Year, third place in 2035, seasonal best 11s again. He just had nothing since his first season with Dynamo Moscow. Yeah, injuries. He's picked up a heck of a lot more. I mean, almost half of his injuries, just under, have occurred in the later stages of his career, the later four years. But a lot of them are slights, which is great to see. One major, okay, versus Empoli, funny enough, seven weeks out, broken ribs. But, I mean, all in all, he's still not all that injury prone. A lot of slights in his later half of the career, or the last four years, is pretty nice. Uh, but he's, he, yeah, he's definitely, when he plans to retire or the last couple of seasons, he's going to get injured a little bit more. But as you'd expect for aging bodies and all that. So as you can see, uh, his really only recognition is Russian Young Player of the Year, Russian Young Player of the Year runner-up. Um, didn't we have, there was another one, third place right there. They don't list that for some reason when they do on others. But he really doesn't have a lot to his name, sadly. But I think, I mean, he's been around the block. He's kind of gone from Russia to Italy and seen the world a bit. But uh, that is it for Arsene Zakarian uh, and when he retires. He looks pretty nice, definitely. I mean, again, one to scout, as I always say. Figure out where his potential lies. Is it on the lower side of the negative nine? Even then, I'm going to guess it's probably around 150, which is still a fantastic player for most teams. Uh, definitely, even as a squad player on the Premier, you know, top Premier League clubs and Spanish clubs, if not a somewhat, you know, mid-starter. But it looks like he can definitely be a good player to look at and possibly pick up. Uh, may not be all that expensive, depending on when you pick it up. But that is it for me, Stephanie FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.